I'm at Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan, and behind me is the world's first hydrogen powered vending machine. And this operates with zero CO2. And how this works is that you got the typical vending machine, and by the way, it accepts QR payment because it also supports Alipay Plus, which includes Touch and Go e wallet. So, with a hydrogen cartridge, this works like a fuel cell electric vehicle. So, with a hydrogen tank, it combines with uh, O2 to produce electricity. To place an order, just scan the QR code. So, I'm going to use my Touch and Go e wallet. Scan. Please wait for connecting to vending machine. Confirm the number 33998. Yep, that's the one. Okay. And then select the drinks Coke Zero. Bye. Yep, touch you got your wallet. Hey, six ringgit. And there you have it Coke Zero from a vending machine that's emissions free. That's what it's claimed. Hey, Chris has a point. The only carbon dioxide is when you crack the bottle. <laughs> so this whole concept is pretty cool, but there's a notice over here. This vending machine, which is currently undergoing demonstration experiment, is normally powered by hydrogen electricity. But due to an issue arising from the supply of hydrogen, it has been temporarily switched to on commercial electricity. So yeah, it's currently running off the electricity grid because of supply issues with hydrogen. So it's a pretty cool concept but hampered by supply issues. If you think about it, it would it make more sense if you have solar panels on a roof and this whole machine is powered from the sun for free and then you don't need to worry about logistics because you just get it from the sun. Right? Let me know in the comment section down below.